are looking for some darts. These aren't the darts you're looking for. These aren't the darts we're looking for. No, mate, it's these ones. <laughs> Twat. Hello, Darts Nuts. Welcome to the Darts Review channel. So, in this video, as you might have guessed, I'm going to be reviewing the Loxley John Part Darts. But, as you might have noticed, I'm also wearing the Loxley John Part Darts shirt. So, I'll let you have a look at this. These retail for £42.95 and they're available from small to 7XL. I didn't even know you could get a 7XL. and I haven't got a clue what size that is. It must be incredible Hulk size. 7XL. I don't know anyone. I don't even know anyone who's 3XL. Never mind a 7XL. But anyway, this is the shirt. And as you can see, it's got a kind of like a Darth Vader theme to it but it's got the maple leaves. It's very clever actually. And on the collar, I can't remember which one it is. That's that one. It's got three stars for John Part's three world championship wins. And on the back, as you can see, it's got John Part's name, but it makes you feel like Darth Vader, but obviously it's Darth Maple. So anyway, let's check out the darts. So I'm reviewing the 26 gram, the 90% tungsten. You can also get them in 22 gram and 24 gram. There is no soft tip and the retail for £49.95. So the darts come in this slimline cardboard packaging and I like a couple of neat touches. They've got the text in the style of the Star Wars writing and they've also got the maple leaf on there for the uh, weight part. And on the back just tells you about uh, John Part, a little bit of a bio, and also the three times he's won the World Championships. So some nice little touches there. Inside you've got a foam insert holding the darts in place. And they come supplied with the Loxley short nylon stems and a set of the Maple Leaf John Part Loxley standard flights. Quite a nice flight that. The darts fit with a black coated point and at first glance it might look as if it's a straight barrel dart but it's actually a tapered barrel so wider at the front and the very subtle taper towards the rear. Quite a long dart. You got a tapered nose and the bulk of the barrel is this double thin ring grip so it kind of feels a bit similar to the old John Part Hero grip dart so if you were a fan of them you might quite like these and on the very end you've got a micro grip but we'll have a close look at the grip in the super close up just now and they fit with the Loxley short nylon stems and like I said before a nice set of flights the John Part maple leaf and that red section is slightly see-through so you've got a tapered nose with a, a ring and groove grip and then the bulk of the barrel is this double thin ring grip and as you can see you've got kind of flat grooves in between the double rings and then in between the sets of the rings it's a, a fairly deep curved groove and that's quite a lot of the barrel almost the full length but then as you get towards the rear it narrows and then on the very end you've got a micro grip section and you've got the maple leaf logo and the Loxley crossed arrows logo so there you go that's the super close look at the Loxley John Part darts Darts fit with a black coated 27mm point, there's a tapered nose, that's a ring and groove grip, that's 6.3mm, then you've got the thin double ring grip which has got fairly wide grooves in between the sets of the rings and it's kind of a curved groove, that's 38.3mm in total, then on the end of the barrel it's a micro grip with a small smooth section on the end, that's 10mm in total, length 546 width 7mm twenty five point eight seven grams twenty five point eight 
25.88 grams. And 25.9 grams, full set up, 27.58 grams. Here's the balance with nothing attached and with the supplied set up. And this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights. It's probably just verging onto a high medium level of grip but some people may find it a little bit more grippy but I've put 6.5. Mm. I know this is a heavy dart for me at 26 gram and also with it being front weighted it kind of feels more heavy than it would anyway with my front grip but that's the way that jump part is is playing with so that's why I'm reviewing these I think maybe the 22 gram would probably be more than enough for me but not flying too bad I'm getting a bit of spiraling kind of like that and I think that's just down to the fact it's a long dart and heavy weight um, just as well it's got the short stems on because I think it probably would be flying a bit more er erratic but grip nice level of grip there I think I give the grip 6.5 but for some it may feel more grippy I also like the slightly chunky feel of the front section there so if you're a front gripper and you like a fairly long front weighted style you should be happy with these i think that's in the trouble <laughs> i tell you it just looks fuzzy to me i can't tell if it's above the wire or in the treble <laughs> that one definitely isn't is that one in? Ah, oh, that one was in and the other one was just above. Gone right up to the nose as well, so. This is this fairly heavy dart. Now obviously, around the middle, it tapers the barrel, so it gets a little bit thinner there, but anywhere along that middle section, or pretty much that part of the dart, you're getting the full effect of that uh, double ring grip. Now, strangely, they're actually flying a little bit smoother through the air. When I was thrown from the front, I was getting a little bit of spiralling. These seem to be going almost perfectly smooth. Not always on target, like, but <laughs> that's another thing altogether. Well, that one I didn't leave, leave my hand right. So that last one again... I think I hit my chin light but it actually went smooth through the air so I think from the middle as well just feels a little bit more evenly balanced but still slightly front bias so again if you're a mid gripper and you like a slightly front weighted feel then you might be happy with them I don't know where that one is I can't even see it. Oh, it was in the treble. <laughs> I don't know how it got in there. Like, <laughs> it didn't fly through the air all that great. Um, I'm trying to hold it a little bit half and half on the micro grip at the end and also the double thin ring grip. So, boing. Wow, that bounced back quite a long way. <laughs> Oh, what the hell's going on here? <laughs> Bounce out city. So obviously it tapers to the thinnest point around there. So it, it, it's, it's got the thinnest th th feel. But if you're gripping right at the end, then you're going to be fully on the micro grip. So if you need some grip, then maybe your best 
a little bit in front of it but also it's going to feel a little bit more front heavy because you're at the end of the barrel oh i managed to get a treble again got another treble but not the one i was aiming for yeah so it's going to be fine for rear grippers like i said it just whether you like a front weighted style but if you need more grip then I think you'll be okay in front of the micro grip because you're still going to be pretty much the rear part of the dart because it's so long. So there you go. No, we well, got two in. Um, so there you go. That's the Loxley John Part World Champion Edition, 26 gram. Like I said, a little bit on the heavy side for me. I probably would have done better with the 22 gram. Um, it's a little bit of a long dart as well. Uh, it's nearly was it f nearly 55 mil, so quite a long one. I can't remember where the John Part starts years ago, the Unicorn ones were that long, I don't remember now. But if you like the Hero Grip on them old Unicorn ones, then you probably quite like these. It's got a similar feel to them. Um, so I think it'll work whether you're a front mid or a rear gripper, it just depends whether you like a front weighted style. So I'll leave you with the gallery so you can have a close look at them. That's the end of the video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. And I'll see you in the next one. May the darts be with you. Or oh, happy darting. And wait a minute. Is that the Superman theme or is that Star Wars? Ah, I can't remember now. Damn it. It might be Star Wars, but I've messed it up now. So bugger it. That was Chewbacca, by the way. <laughs>